Simon, I'm the seal keeper. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the work we're doing rescuing baby seals. Between here and the coast of Norfolk, which is only 17 miles away in that direction, we have an area of sea known as the Wash. The Wash is home to England's largest colony of harbour seals. There's around two to 3,000 of them out there, and every summer they will have pups. The mum will feed their pups for only three to four weeks, but they'll feed them on very rich milk that will take them from their birth weight to about 25 pounds, up to around 60 pounds in weight in that short time. Then the mother's milk will dry up and the pups will be left to become independent and blood to feed themselves. So that's the way things will go with seals, but usually works out okay. But occasionally we'll get into difficulties which can be orphaned because they're not died or they're Perhaps we're separated from them out of sea in the weather. They can be bitten by other seals. Sometimes they get bitten by dogs. They can get themselves tangled up with some plastic or fishing nets. They can catch things like seal pox, lung worm, or pneumonia, or get infections from wounds they've received. Now, for those seals, it's a very different story. Without their monster feed, but they will get weaker and weaker, and eventually they'll get washed up onto a beach where, unless they're rescued, they will die of starvation or dehydration, and that's where we get involved. The lucky ones are spotted by people walking off the beach. Sometimes they're found by the Coast Guard or the police. They report the seals to us. We go out and find them, we bring them back here, and we take them to the seal hospital where they get intensive care. So we start by treating their injuries, we give them antibiotics if they need them, they give them worming medicine and rehydration fluids, and we start feeding them on the fish to get them building up their weight. We also tag them, all of the seals will get tags in their back flippers. They'll keep those for the rest of their lives, so when they're out in the wild, if they're spotted again, they can be easily identified as previously rescued seals. The tags can be traced back here to Nature so occasionally we get reports about seals we've released. It's spotted in the wild. We've been seen around the wash quite often. They've also been spotted further afield, around the coast of Scotland, to the Isle of Wight, as far away as France, Holland. And the seals will spend several weeks with us in the hospital, getting better, and they're brought here to the rearing pool where they live to feed themselves in the water. While we're doing that, we put lots of weight on. We have to give the seals around 60 pounds, about 28 kilos in body weight before we let them go. So when they're ready for release, I put the seal into a crate and take it to the beach behind Nature Land as we release them there to get the water. So we don't just rescue harbour seals during the summer, we're very busy in the winter. Grey seals, they will have their pups around November and December. We'll get on average 30 to 40 seals coming in to be rescued every year. So far, we've rescued and released 725 <laughs> back into the wild, which makes us feel very proud indeed. Unfortunately, rescuing and taking care of them could be a little expensive. Each seal will end up costing us nearly £2,000. That money has to pay for a lot of things, it's on their veterinary care, their medicine, their vitamins, of course, all of the fish that they'll eat. These seals will eat around seven pounds of fish each every day. Now we don't get any grants or subsidies from the council or the lottery for doing this work, so it leaves us with a little bit of a problem. So I'd like to take this opportunity now to ask for your help in taking care of these baby seals. So this is my Save Our Seal box. In here I have four little souvenirs, all of the money that we raised from the sale of these souvenirs here at the Rearing right. Pool goes towards our seal rescue work. And without this money we find it very difficult to keep doing this, giving these seals a second chance to life in the wild. So I have pens with our logo on, it's only £1.50. There's fridge magnets for the photograph of the seal we rescued on again, just £1.50. A wristband that says safe seals, let's go to nature. And they're only a pound, and we've got notebooks for just two pounds. So I'm going to come round. Anybody who'd like to buy a little souvenir, that'd be fantastic. It won't be long. When I come back, I'll introduce you to the seals, give them some food, and I'm going to So if you could just bear with me yeah, for a couple of minutes as I go around. Thank you. Well, I'll send you to the seals.